Welcome back to Midnight Movie Club and Mecha Godzilla has just been 100% officially confirmed and it's also been confirmed that they are using Ghidorah's skull to actually create Mecha Godzilla and it actually looks like they've went full Pacific Rim with someone actually having to be inside the skull, the head portion of Mecha Godzilla to control it and it looks like it might be through some sort of neural connection or something along those lines. It's crazy, I was not expecting all this sort of news to drop i didn't expect them to reveal all this before the movie came out it's pretty insane so let's quickly sum it up before i have to go to work they really gotta stop dropping news just before i go to work i mean come on cut me some slack the director Adam Wingard has come out and said that uh, King Ghidorah actually haunts this film. You know, you can still feel his presence even though the kaiju isn't going to be in it. Obviously, his skull is being used for Mecha Godzilla, and this is what is making Godzilla lose his shit. He's hearing this sort of signal, this sort of frequency that's challenging his alpha king status. And when he rocks up to, you know, find Ghidorah and think, right, this is it, we're thrown down again, Ghidorah's nowhere to be seen because, you know, he's either uh, being hidden somewhere uh, in an underground facility by Apex and Monarch and the skulls being transferred around the world here, there, everywhere. Godzilla's following it and that explains all these Godzilla attacks. Godzilla isn't just murdering people for the sake of it. He is going there to destroy what is left of King Ghidorah and he thinks that he is being challenged. His alpha status is being challenged. So he's rocking up, he's blasting the place with atomic breath and once again, even though he's the one causing the destruction, actually physically doing all of this destruction, it's really the humans who are the root of the problem once again. Obviously, this is even amplified and he's even more pissed off when Kong is then brought off Skull Island to stop Godzilla from going around and trying to destroy what is left of Ghidorah and in the process, the Apex Monarch bases and stuff like that. They've just brought an ancient rival of Godzilla's species off of Skull Island to fight Godzilla while he is actively trying to hunt down the only kaiju who was capable of like actually defeating him, you know, his ultimate nemesis. No wonder this guy has lost the plot. So that puts all the sort of uh, uh, the the Godzilla we see in the trailers make a Godzilla theories to death. I thought that the first time I seen the trailer. Uh, I know a lot of other people on the internet thought that. But the more you watch it and the more you see, you can actually see God's uh, make a Godzilla in like the first few seconds of the trailer, and he's not got flesh over him. He's just purely purely robotic. Uh, so yeah, uh, that puts that theory dead in the water which is nice we can move past that so yeah we've got Godzilla versus Kong you know ancient rivalry they hate each other but all while this is going on Godzilla is wanting to destroy what is left of King Ghidorah and you know it's going to be at the end of the fight where Godzilla uh, or King Kong either one of them wins I still think it's going to be Godzilla uh, you know Mecha Godzilla is going to rock up and they're going to have to fight. But we also got some more information about Hollow Earth. Uh, one of the uh, Apex and Monarch employees, I can't remember his name, he's played by Skarsgård. He's talked into going into another mission into the Hollow Earth. They've got new equipment, new ships and stuff like that. But he says he'll only go if they can take Kong. So they take Kong along with them, kind of for protection. Since he is a Hollow Earth native, he knows kind of what's going on. Uh, and that is where Kong gets his axe. But the spinal plate that is in the axe is not actually the current Godzilla's. It's an ancient Godzilla's, you know. It might even be Godzilla's mum or dad. That could piss him off even more, you know. Imagine, imagine your dad's fucking toenail being used against you in a fight do you know what I mean uh, so yeah it's kind of like that which is a nice little bit of information to get but it's just insane that they're revealing all this honestly I couldn't believe it when I saw this news and I was like shit I'm gonna have to report on this I'll leave for work and I know it's mental but yeah I just wanted to cover it all because we've been so consistent with Godzilla versus Kong here on the channel uh, along with things like Army of the Dead Mortal Kombat I want to keep the ball rolling with that content I don't want to be too late on it I don't want to skip on it and I want to discuss it with you all in the comment section down below. So it actually also looks like it's going to be Dr. Serawaz's son who pilots Mecha Godzilla, so that adds a little bit of drama in there. You know, Serawaz actually saved uh, 
Godzilla helped him regain his power in King of the Monsters? Will his son destroy Godzilla in Godzilla vs Kong? That would be pretty crazy. But yeah, let me know all your updated theories in the comment section down below. Are you happy they revealed this? Uh, we all kind of knew it was coming, I think, anyway, so it's not the biggest spoiler in the world. But yeah, some crazy, crazy news, a lot to talk about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to join the club for more uh, horror movie, thriller movie, uh, sci-fi movie, news, reviews, lore, and more. Right now, the big movies we're covering are Godzilla vs is called Mortal Kombat and Army of the Dead but I'm always looking for more little ones in between so keep an eye out for content on the daily. Uh, as always thank you very much for watching and good night.